What is up everyone, it's your boy Grey Falcon here with another video and today I will show you something really cool and that is a working Nintendo DS emulator working for Iris Knight. So let's jump right in and get started. First thing you have to do is add a source. So first go into Safari and you need to add a repo source so I will be putting a link in the description below. So first thing go into that website and as you can see here you get this web page and you want to tap on get it from Cydia so tap on that and it will ask you if you can open in Cydia tap on open and it will open Cydia as you can see here it's asking you to add a source so I'll tap on install the source and we'll start updating the sources then tap on return to Cydia so that is done for now go to search and search for INDS tap on it and you can see that it says my iOS version is supported. So I'll tap on install and confirm. So as you can see here it doesn't need a respring so I'll tap on return to Cydia and if we go onto the home page and swipe right you can see that we have a newly installed icon called INDS so tap on that and as you can see here we have this view right here we have a settings icon and we have a search icon let's go into the settings for a second and we have these settings so you can choose what you want to change and what you want to leave now to get ROMs you have to tap on the search and it gets you to this website so I'm just gonna download any ROM just for testing purposes I am going to be downloading Pokemon Black version and as you can see here it gives you the title and to download this game go all, scroll down and you will see download links on number 8 so tap on that then you can see you got a box of the game icon and you get a direct download link so as you can see on top of the game icon you can see it says download Pokemon so tap on that then scroll down it says be appearing your download then go down scroll down and you can see here that it has direct download tap on that again and you can see at the bottom we have a pop up saying that the download has started so if we tap on done at the top right you can see now it is downloaded as you can see here it says open and so it will unzip the ROM that you have just downloaded and you'll get an icon right there as you can see and if you tap on that you can tap on launch normally so that was it for Nintendo DS emulator if you have any questions or have any problems just put a comment below and I will get to you as soon as possible if you enjoyed this video go ahead and hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this then go ahead and subscribe see you guys in the next one Peace.